Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force here with some more Friday Night Magic. Today we're going to be playing Mono Black Zombies. We had some really cool additions. I guess this isn't great, but I'm going to keep it anyways. We had some really, really cool cards come out in the expansion that sort of help out uh, with zombies. We've got this Paragon of the Open Graves here, which pumps up other black creatures. Uh, we've got another card to pump up other black our, our zombies as well as skeleton cards and um, And then basically in this deck. I'm also running some removal and fun stuff like that. Oh Look at this deck. <laughs> uh, We come across this every once in a while and back when I was a young young boy when I was a youngin and uh, we played paper magic me and my 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 buddies my chums that I grew up with. Uh, one of my friends had this this monstrous sized deck. It was something like we'd be sitting, we'd be all just sitting at the uh, the table together, you know, slinging cards and everything. I don't really want to. Ah, fuck it. Just to stay on curve, I'm actually going to mind rot right now. I usually want to save it until he's got less cards in his hand, but given whatever craziness is going on here, um, we're just going to do whatever. Uh, what, what was I saying? So I had a friend who would have a similar, like it was just a pile. It was just a pile. And he called it his Tower of Power. Like, that's what he called it. This is my tower, this is my tower of power. It's a powerful deck, all the best cut. <laughs> I, I also remember, this was the thing. When I first, first started playing Magic, he really, that was a really hard decision. When I first, first started playing Magic, um, I remember I just had this white deck and basically what I did was whenever I got a new white card into my collection I just throw it in this deck. So it was just so funny I just had like a whole bunch of random stuff and whenever I got a new I'm like ooh, it's a new rare card And it's white. Let's stick it in this. I was like running sacred Pega uh, Mesas sacred Mesa, I think it was it was something that got you Pegasus in play every turn It was really kind of cool, but I don't know what does all of this mean? Nothing really. Uh, we're here at Friday Night Magic, and I guess I'm just nostalgia tripping right now. Uh, he played a guard, Go Mazoa, one three defender flying, and prevent all combat damage will be dealt to it, which is actually a huge pain in the ass. Like a big, big pain in the ass. Um, so yeah, we're here at Friday Night Magic. Thanks for coming out with me, Archaeomancer, so we can fetch back his reprisal. Strike creature power four greater Cambria generate. So I'm gonna have to realize that that'll be coming out at some point. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it should be fun. Zombies. Woohoo. We'll see how this goes. It's not really a great start. I'm gonna mind rot him again. Uh, also, I want to give a big shout out to the community over at No Goblins Allowed. I, in the past couple of videos, I had a, re a bunch of people asking, like, oh, is this deck, where'd you get this deck from? Uh, in, 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 in the past, I definitely spent a lot of time trying to make my own decks, but over the past few months, I've sort of been lurking the forums of No Goblins Allowed. They've got a great community over there. They're, like, really on top of the duels meta, if you, if duels has a meta. Everything has a meta. Just, oh, we got rid of his reprisal again, as well as a resolute. Okay, bit, bit, bit. Resolute RNK job. I'm thinking of holding on to the dead weight. I don't really care to use it on his Archaeomancer, so we'll hold on to the dead weight. Uh, yeah, so I, I, sometimes I'll just take a, take a look and try some of the decks that are over there. Sometimes I'll get inspired by it. Like this particular zombie deck is inspired by a couple of ones that were posted in the past few weeks um, over on that site. So I'll give you a link to the forums and all that. You can check it out. I mean, you shouldn't be coming to me for Decalus, because I don't, it's not, I know, I know pro circuit dude over here, it's not me. Uh, son of a, I, I just recently cut the lands down to 23 from 24, and this is not, it's great. Six lands, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I might, really, I might at this point, you would think I'm running 30 lands. I've drawn six non-land cards and then six lands. So at, at this point, you would be like, oh, four, so you run, you run 30 lands and 30 non-lands? No, that's not what's happening. I'm just getting mana flood right now. And it's so very frustrating to deal with. Oh, my gosh, for the love of God. I just don't draw mana. Draw some more stuff. What I, I, I'd absolutely love to draw is a Graveborn Muse, which will have me... Uh, it, it's give me a nice card draw engine. And just something, anything... <laughs> Mm. Okay, okay. I need to... <laughs> just give me one second. one second. I just need a second here. This is just 
beyond frustrating. <laughs> Uh, you roll them those dice, and they're just not coming up snake eyes, you know what I mean? No, Forrest, we have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, I real- oh my god, I- <laughs> uh, Son of a bitch. <laughs> Runescar Demon, not only does he have a 6-6 six, six flyer in play right now, which, mind you, my deck has zero ways of dealing with, he also gets to search his entire library of 86 cards for whatever he wants. He searches his entire library for any card that he wants. He might run out of time. If I had a library that large, I would probably run out of time before I pick something. <laughs> uh, I am boned, completely boned here. Unless I draw that same thing, which I didn't. I am so screwed. I'm literally so screwed. I could double dead weight him, turn him down to a 2-2, but I don't kill him that way. Son of a bitch. My other option is to try to get these two 5-5s five in play. How do I do that? I need three creatures to die. So if he attacks with six, I could double deadweight his one three, attack with this, and then maybe he blocks it with his one two. Maybe, probably not though. Pass the turn. Uh, I'm completely screwed. There's no way I win this game. So I guess this will just be a match that for the lulls. Uh, I got mana flood, which screwed me over, allowing his tower of power to get into full swing and him to throw down the beastly runescar demon, which I have zero. He's just gonna swing me for six. He only needs to do that th four times, or three times, and plus two, find two more damage. I am screwed. Okay, this is something. It's a creature. And uh, I, I, I'm not super keen about this, but I'm gonna double dead weight. He gets rid of the four four. Okay, well we can bring that back into play. Yeah, we're gonna put counters down. Oh, oh my God, I have an idea. So I unearth this and then it gets haste and then it dies again, which is gonna get me another counter. That's one, two, three. Okay. Can I do it this turn though? That's my question. No, I can't do both of those this turn. So I'll unearth that next turn. We're gonna dead weight that, and then I'm gonna attack for two. What I'm trying to do is to get, um, I'm trying to trigger these. Maybe he's stupid and he'll block my 2-2 two -two with his 1-2. And then give me two 5-5s. Five Six sixes, actually, because he will pump them up too. Okay, he's not stupid. But ne next turn, we'll be able to trigger them. The question is, is it too late? The answer is probably yes. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. De this game is hilarious. This particular match is absolutely hilarious. Just how awful. Um, yeah, I'm screwed. Well, not com not yet completely, but can I undying evil and have this guy come back? That's a legitimate question. If I undying evil, will he come back? Nope, I have no idea. I'm guessing not, but I'm willing to try it anyways. I'm guessing it won't work that way. It might though. All right, I'm gonna go to combat. We're gonna swing for four. 
And then I am going to Undying Evil him. So he dies at the end of turn. The thing I'm hoping is that Undying Evil will return him back into play. I'm not sure how that... It doesn't work the way... <laughs> oh, and not only that, but it didn't trigger my quest for the Grave Lord. Are you serious? Oh. I just assumed the revival with the Unearth... When it died again, I just assumed it was going to trigger quest for the Grave Lord. Son of a bitch. He doesn't even have to do anything now, and I'm screwed, because I don't even have these guys coming through. I, that was my, that was like my savior. Ah, fuck. Damn it all to hell. I give up. I cannot believe that I lost to a deck with like a trillion cards in it. I, I don't even... <laughs> I don't even, there's nothing to say about that. There's just nothing to say. He has so many cards in that deck, I can't... What, how do I lose to that? I'll tell you how. I get completely mana flood and uh, draw off my curve really bad. So hopefully this game turns out a little bit better. We got turn two, walking corpse, turn three, mind rot, turn four, viscera, dragger, and or graveborn muse. We'll have to see what he's running and what he has open for lands. He's going to play one, two. Artifact spells cost one less to cast. So we're going to swing him with our two, two there. And then play our Mind Rot. Yes, yeah, so let's swing for two first. Swing him for two. Okay, goes through. And then we play the Mind Rot. Ruby Roo! Discard two cards. So it's going to bring him down to four. And uh, I'd be interested to see what he's running in his deck. I haven't seen any artifact-centric decks yet, but that is most definitely what this is. I mean, if he's running that card, it has to be. Or one, one would assume, right? Oh, well, again, we're going to get some pretty telling information here, most likely. Well, look at this. As a battlefield, just two damage to our creature or player. Add one mana of any type to your mana pool. Uh, interesting. A little heavy casting cost. Uh, artifact creature control damage. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. And he runs a 1-1. Whenever a artifact turns to the battlefield, this gets plus 2, plus 2 to end a turn. Sacrifice, draw two cards. Okay, so I don't know why he wouldn't have played both those next turn so they could pop us up and attack us with a bunch. Quick creature can't be blocked whenever quick creature is dealt damage, destroy it. Why is he doing this all right now? This has summoning sickness. He's, he's going to lose all of this benefit here from that pump up. And his hand's empty right now. Although he does get to draw um, draw cards with that. So, Well, I'm going to Graveborn Muse right now because I know it's going to live. Well, let's attack for two first. Or I'm assuming it's going to live because he's got nothing going on right now. And this means I'm pretty positive that we're going to get to draw some cards. Because he's got an empty hand right now. He's got a completely empty hand. I, I think that was... I don't know about his decision to dump all that last turn and then not get any benefit. Because he could have... Uh, if he had done all this this turn, he could have hit me with all that damage. You know what I mean? Yes, he wouldn't have had all the stuff to do, but I don't know. Um, is he going to be able to trigger this too? How much was this? Two to activate? Yeah, tap two. So he's going to be able to trigger this and draw, uh, draw two cards. So yeah, maybe now he's got two lands in his hand plus the two off the top that he just got. So maybe now he's got two more artifacts. At least two of those are land, if not more. Untap upkeep, Graveborn Muse triggers. Uh, we lose X life, draw X cards, equal the number of zombies. And we're going to kill that right now because he's got stuff. He can probably make it big. We don't want that stuff to happen. Uh, I actually might kill both of those. I think I'm going to. I'm going to get rid of his board right now. We're going to kill that. And we're going to kill that. And we've got the Undying Evil to save our Graveborn Muse if he tries to kill it. This is great. Um, this is really good. Okay. So then we move into combat phase. We swing for five. And what is this again? Oh, Equip Creature can't be blocked. Still damage is right, all right. Uh, bring him down to 11. Ooh, this is really good. This is really good. I'm... Uh, again, one idea is, yes, he was able to front load all that stuff so he, that he could 
get draw lands and draw cards, but he missed out on so much potential damage, I just don't know if it was worth it. It's tough. It's a tough call. I don't know, but I don't know his deck. I don't know how it's supposed to be played, you know? Ruby Roo might have grander plans. We'll see. See if he lives long enough for them to come into effect. Uh, this is really a godsend right now. Uh, Undying Evil pretty much means if he has removal, we'll be able to save our stuff. Lose two life, draw two cards. Oh, one of which is a mind rot. Ruby Roo, Ruby Roo. Sorry for you. Sorry for you. <laughs> Force, what is going on tonight? You know, I, I have had people constantly ask me, Force, are you drunk? Force, you high? No. I'll tell you what it is, right? Did I already talk about this? I don't think I did. I've been playing this game known as World of Warcraft. I've been playing way too much of it, and I've not been sleeping enough. Now, did you know, a little fun fact for you, that sleep deprivation has been... It's been proven to basically have the same or similar effects to that of intoxication. So sometimes pe when I'm recording like a late Friday Night Magic, people will say, Ruby Roo has left the game. No, they won't say that. People will say, Force, are you drunk this Friday? Like, oh, I love drunk Force. Like, dude, I like don't drink. I have a, I drink like once a month when I have dinner with my girlfriend. Not that we only have dinner once a month, but that like, you know, once a month when we have dinner, I'll have a drink. But I'm not, a, I'm not much of a drinker or anything like that. We win, no, we don't, not this turn. Stop him from blocking. Doesn't really matter though. I rather, I rather just swing for five and then play Runescar Demon. Bam. He's gonna block the three three. Two goes through, brings him down to four. We play Runescar Demon. Um, no, it's just that I got no sleep last night, and it's like one in the morning right now. So yeah, I'm a little silly. And you know what? I don't mind. Um, in case he plays something, I'm gonna grab the Shadowborn Demon. In case he plays something to do whatever. In case he plays some big old creature, it's not even a real player, anyways. It's uh, artificial intelligence. I'm gonna draw a couple cards, yay! And then we're just gonna swing for the victory, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There you go. Oh, uh, there you go. And that's all she wrote. Well, that was a bit of a silly episode of Friday Night Magic, but hopefully at least it was entertaining or enjoyable for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at the deck list here. Uh, two quests for the Grave Lords. Creatures die, gets counters, three counters, turn it into a 5-5 five, five creature, two of those. Uh, three or three dead weights for removal. We've got the Undying Evil to save and protect our valuable creatures and have them return into play with a 1-1 one, one counter on them nonetheless. Uh, the Walking Corpse, it's just a nice, it's a zombie, and that's the theme of this deck. We've got zombie pump up, and uh, it's a nice 2-2 body, so it's nice to have. Obviously, it would be greater if it had some fringe effects, but it is what it is. Uh, Vicious Hunger plays similarly to the Dead Weight in that it's early removal. We, it's also nice to have that life gain, especially with the Graveborn Muse. Uh, the Death Baron, uh, so one of these cards that sort of inspired the zombie deck creation. The Death Baron gives up our zombies and skeletons plus one plus one and gives them death touch. So we're running two of those in the deck. Uh, Mind Rot for a little bit of control. Best used when your opponent's hand is light. We've got the Grave Bond Muse, uh, two of those. We get to draw a card during our upkeep for each uh, zombie that we have in play. And we lose life as well. But it's a nice card draw engine. The Paragon of Open Graves, again, similar to the Death Baron, uh, inspiring playing sort of zombie style deck. I get to pump these guys up. So we can have Death Baron in play, which pumps up our zombies, plus this, which pumps up all black creatures. It's really nice. Speaking of zombies, we've got a zombie ogre warrior, known as the Viscera Dragger. It's a 3-3. I can cycle it to draw a card, put him in the graveyard, plus you can unearth him to have him come into play for a turn with haste and to be able to attack and whatever. Shadowborn Demon got one of those for target removal, plus it's a nice 5-6 flyer. Uh, the Indulgent Tormentor, it's some card draw engine, plus it's a 5-3 flyer for 5. Get the Flesh to Dust to remove some large threats, any potential large threats we see. Uh, a Single Nightmare, it's a big flying creature. Uh, power tough to single number, swamps it in play. And we're on two of the Runescar Demons. So a lot of these one things, like one of the Shadowborn, one of the Nightmare, um, but two of the Runescar Demons allows us to search through, you know, so if we draw a Runescar Demon, we can play it, and then if we need a Nightmare, we'll get a Nightmare. If we need a Shadowborn Demon, we'll get a Shadowborn Demon, whatever. That's a deck. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Friday. It'll be a longer episode next Friday. I normally try to do a little bit longer than this one, but, you know, I should probably go to bed. 
It's like we're real. Fr- it's like we're real friends, you know. Sometimes I go over to my friends late at night, or play a game of Magic, and I'm like, dude, I'm just tired. Can we just like play some Halo and go to bed? Because I just don't. I can't. My brain can't. You know. So let's do that with some smart food. We'll have some smart food. We'll play a couple levels of Halo on Legendary, and then we'll just pass out. Does it sound good? Sounds good. I'll see you later.